Hello everyone, Dr. B here. First, I want to welcome you again to eTech 589. This week I want to make sure that you're able to find everything in Module 1. We started this week with the introduction to the course materials and then we'll get into Module 1. So you should be able to go to Modules and then if you haven't, make sure you go to the introduction to course materials and then you will see module one. It's been my experience as a participant in online learning as well as a facilitator that if too many modules are available at once there's a chance you'll get too far ahead and not be able to stay current with other participants in the course and moving through the content together. So in order to have rich discussion and dialogue and keep everyone focused and ready to move on together We'll probably only have one module available each week and active. Feedback from you may help me learn that we would like to change that, maybe add two, but for now let's give it a shot and see how it works. You will notice the format. Overview, lecture, readings, discussion, assignment, review, and reflect. That's how it's going to be structured each week. Each week, depending on the module, you'll see for module one, it's 1.0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Module two, 2.0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the following modules will be formatted the same way. For the overviews, obviously they'll change based on the content, but you'll have an introduction. You'll have the learning objectives. You'll have a reminder of what you need to do. And then there's a link that allows you to ask questions, general questions about the course, but you can also reach out to me by email. That would be my preference, but you can use this form. I will be checking it from time to time. Then the lecture, of course, I'm building it now, so you see coming soon, but that's where this video will be. And each week there will be uh, video materials there. It could be simply me walking through the module there may be a supporting lecture a ted talk or some sort of other supporting video but we'll have some sort of lecture materials here and then course readings a reminder there are no textbook there is no textbook for this course there will be required readings it may be articles literature blogs journal articles websites but you will also be expected to find content. So I will provide articles that should be short and informative, but you will be expected to find articles or websites to support the topic for that module. You will click on the link tips to engage and introduce yourself in online classrooms. You'll read that short brief article and then you'll go on to the discussion for this week. And this week, it should be pretty straightforward. It's about you. Why did you take this course? What are you most interested in learning about? Your favorite movie, favorite hobby interest, something unique about you. The goal for these discussion posts will be a minimum of around 200 words. It should be well-developed. It should be um, about the content and we'll have questions discussion around the readings. The idea is that you will post your initial post by Thursday night at midnight or 1159 so that other members of the class have time to respond. I would like for those initial responses to be in by Friday at midnight each week. And the idea is that if we get those in, continue to check the discussion post and continue to uh, respond to comments for this to be a rich learning environment the goal is that you will keep going and don't just post your post and a couple responses and be done with it uh, come back multiple times and be involved and active this will provide some great learning opportunities as we learn together and after you've completed the discussion post you will then complete the assignment for this week. The assignment for this week will start with an article to read from Simon Sinek 
and then a video from Simon Sinek talking about developing your personal why and then I've created a brief presentation that walks you through the format that I'm looking for and you will see here that we will create a personal why statement you can use this format to blank so that blank basically your contribution and the impact and then you're going to create a video for this video you can use any recording device that you would like you can record it on your laptop you can use your cell phone something just real basic like he did there where he's just recording himself sitting at his desk uh, it doesn't have to be edited any special way just hit start record capture it and then upload the video for this assignment there won't be a detailed rubric i just want to see that you complete it and that you've created a why statement and that you've created a video similar to the one you've seen by simon sinek basically you're just recording what you've learned about yourself and what you feel like your purpose is and or your why as simon explains and make sure it's uploaded there's no time expectation prior students have recorded about a minute some maybe a few minutes shorter is really better but whatever it needs to be don't overthink it i just want you to hit record and capture your why it won't be critically graded based on presentation skills and video quality i just want you to get it completed and then there's a link here that explains how to utilize canvas studio and submit video audio file submissions and then finally this will be true with every week you were asked in the introduction to create a blog if you haven't submitted that link to me this link please submit you can click on that and then uh, submit the link to your blog but basically each week you're just going to answer these two basic questions what's your biggest takeaway this week what did you learn about yourself and others through the discussion and you're going to submit that each week based on that content you're expected to have it completed by sunday each week 11:59. so looking ahead most of the modules in the remainder of the course will look something like this one It'll be formatted the same way at any time if you have any questions or concerns please contact me you can email me i have my personal cell phone on the home page of our canvas classroom you can text me anytime. That's probably the quickest, best way. You can even text me and let me know you're sending me an email. But let me know if you have any questions or concerns, and I look forward to learning more about you this week as we learn together this semester.